Andrew. Morning, Vincent. So, Lashko has been busy. Yeah, yes. As yeah, we have discussed for the past two days. Yep, yep. Anything else in the economics and political arena yeah. outside of the Lashko? Yeah, absolutely. There's always something going on in this town. So, uh, David Moore, who mm. is the uh, chairman and managing director for ExxonMobil Energy, mm-hmm. uh, which has a lot of the big joint ventures with CLP, ah. right, to provide power with... But they uh, are leaving. They're leaving, yeah, they're selling their shares in uh, the, the kind of the mothership, as it were, the yeah. one, the, kind of the headline one. But, but they also have the Hong Kong Pump Storage Development Company, which is a joint venture between CLP and ExxonMobil. Uh-huh. Uh, and the, he is also the chairman of Castle Peak Power Company. Of course. So there's, there's different elements to it, but, you know, the top line, they're selling off their shares yeah. there. So uh, Dave Moore is going to be speaking to the American Chamber today. Amcham. Amcham. Uh-huh. About the future of energy in Hong Kong to 2040. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot going on on that front. 2040. Yeah. 2040. Yeah. Wow, this is 2014. Yes. So 26 years from now? Yeah, yeah. It's a, but these, these very long term. Very long term. But uh, I think one of the things is, uh, you know, in Hong Kong, quite often, you know, energy prices will be stable for a long time. Yep. And it's because when the energy companies sign in for a contract, whether it's buying coal, or gas, they lock in for really long-term projects, right? These are multi-billion dollar contracts set for over 20 years so that the development of the resource itself, whether it's a gas field or a coal mine, can be locked in and say, okay, we know we've got a solid customer for 20 years. And, uh, you know, if you don't have those contracts, you get cut out of the deals. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you kind of lock in at a certain price and everybody's energies bump along. Then all of a sudden you get to a point where the energy company says, oh, we got to raise everybody's rates. And everybody flips out and says, why? And it's like, well, you guys wouldn't let us raise the rates before because you knew that we had a sweet, you know, we were on the old cheap prices. Yeah. But now that we have to go to a higher cost for the inputs, now you guys are all complaining because we got to raise our prices. I'm sure these are the kind of things that he's going to discuss because Hong Kong is going to be going through this issue. Yeah, because you can't have uh, cleaner air, cheap energy, well, that's the other and part. also safe yeah. energy at the same time. Yeah, that's yeah, why yeah. you have a few mix. Yeah. Because you need to have several different energy sources to make it clean, somehow clean, yep. somehow safe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> somehow stable. Stable. Somehow cheap. Yeah. You see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. somehow sustainable. And sustainable. Yeah. yeah. You know, everybody yeah. wants that. And unicorns and rainbows, you know, in the past. You know, since, <laughs> since we're asking, and cheap, you know, since uh, we're asking for Yeah, everything. and you can't have free energy and clean the air at the same time. Well, I mean, this is Everybody it. knows that. This is it. So... And in yeah. order to do that, you have to think long term. Yeah. You have yeah. to think in 20 years' time frame. Well, this is it. So yeah. uh, so this is why he's going to be talking about this. And I think if anybody's interested in energy, they want to get themselves over to the American Chamber to check out this presentation. Yes, I agree. And yeah. I think uh, it's not about his name. Of course, more is M-O-O-R-E. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. people just always think that energy companies wants more. Yeah. No, it's not real like this. It's a consumer the always wants more. consumers want. always want more, yeah. Yeah, the yeah. consumer always wants more. That's right. Of course, the energy company, by default, they have to... Yeah earn more of course to address to the shareholders yeah, concern to, and pressure yeah uh, but and at the same time yeah. the, the society wants more yeah 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 they absolutely. want more clean uh, clear air day and clean, all that yeah they want clean stable cheap convenient yeah you and know? i and i'm not uh, supporting either side yeah. i think we have to work together yeah, yeah, absolutely. To find a solution. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, I, we have to work again. and frankly, the guys in the power companies are probably, you know, not probably, they are doing the most work on that. You know, we just kind of show up and complain later. But, uh, but they're, doing, they're doing the hard work on that. Maybe you'll get a little inkling of what is in store if you go and see uh, Dave Moore talk today. All right. So there you go. All about energy All right. Today. So uh, let's pick a keyword related to energy today. Okay. Uh, how about, mm. ah, I know, NPV. You know NPV? NPV? Net present value? Net present value. So you have to think long term. Yeah. But not only the dream. Yeah. But the cost of that dream. Yeah, yeah. How much it's going to And you have to calculate the net present value. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. In order to achieve that cleaner air, cheaper energy dream. Yeah, yeah. But you have to think now Mm, mm, mm. about the future. Okay. And that's, in in economics term, I think is the NPV. The net present value. What do you think? Go look it up. Sure, why not? Bring it up. All right. All right. Thank you. Catch you tomorrow.